Hello there, I am Giant Grodel with more Earthbound. In the last part, we backtracked from Happy Happy Town to back to um, Tucson. In, in between, we went through the Peaceful Rest Valley. And now that we got the water, we also got a lot of bills from um, Everdread. And it's actually an item. I think Paul is holding it. Yeah, because Nessa's inventory is, you know, full. So he has a lot of bills. It's like $10,000. And then we also, um, before that, actually, we went back to the Polar Star Preschool. And then we talked to Paul's mom saying that, like, hey, you know, you two can go on a trip. You, It's said that, um, you know, Paula and Ness and, you know, two other boys are supposed to save the world. So, um, and she gave a hand aid, a handy, uh, a band aid, I think. She made it of cool rhyme, I guess. But she made it, she called it the hand aid. Which again, I'm said to, um, it's supposed to be a really good, it's supposed to be really useful. And I made the joke as handy in the last part, as <laughs> when I said it was handy. But that was an unintentional joke. I mean, I didn't mean to really make it a joke, but it happened to be a joke because it kind of, yeah, it, it just sounded funny, I guess. Maybe not. Um, although, um, and I think that's about all we did, so let's talk to this, um, you look like Mario, and you look like Luigi, cause you're a little, you know, wide, and you're tall and skinny, I guess, I don't know, so let's talk to them, um, I think we'll talk to Luigi, I'm gonna just call you Luigi, hey, you came with Paula, then you deserve a present, playboy, here's a backstage pass that you'll get into our shows with this. Oh yeah, they're the- they're, I shouldn't call them- I shouldn't make them fun of them because they're actually band members. Paul got the backstage pass, not Ness. <laughs> um, he called this- he called Ness a playboy though, but I think he got the wrong idea because- Ah! The guy is gonna take a picture of us! He's got posted on Instagram! <laughs> Pictures taste taken instantly. It's a photographic- I'm a photographic genius, if I don't say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the cameras. Ready? See fuzzy pickles. Fuzzy pickles! I like how Paul didn't even pose. Okay, well, that's a great photograph. It'll always bring back them fondness of memories. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna talk to the kid in the middle, I guess. Um, I'm- I love standing in a choir. In a queer. I don't mean it, I don't mean like the insulting word. Okay, I'm sorry. I just queen you. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Okay, I also love words that start with Q. Queen, quiet, quick. Oh yeah, I think I talked to you before. So before the chaos theater was all like there was a big line you couldn't get into it. But obviously now that you return to your song with Paula, you can go back into it. You can actually enter it, and you know we got the backstage pass, which is pretty cool. I guess I lost my ticket, so I know I can't get in. The ticket counter at the department store was even sold out. I'm sorry, man. That's rough. Okay, hello. Please present your ticket. Okay. Well, I can't do it now. I have to do a couple things. I have to talk to some people. Um, you want to see Poochie Fudd, the manager, right through this door, please? Okay, cool, thanks. Let's go talk to him. He seems like a nice guy. The Runaway Five owe me a lot of money. They'll start, they'll stay here until they pay me back. They might be here for 100 years unless you decide to pay off their debt. <laughs> well, I guess he's not a nice guy. Okay, let's talk to the, um, counter person again. Hello, please present your ticket. Okay, let's present it then. Let's see, is it? Okay, of course everything is in Paula's stash. She got the water. She got $10,000 in inventory. She got the backstage pass. She's got everything. Use, okay. Here you go, hurry. Your joy is time to see the Runaway 5 show. Okay. And if I didn't already mention this before in the Let's Play, which I'm pretty sure I haven't, I put text over in the first part, but I'm sorry that it's taking me so long to um, announce this and uh, uh, admit this honestly, but this is like part 19, but I w would like to give a huge thank you to Chugga Conroy, because he's, I'm using his um, Earthbound guide to, um, you know, as a guide to use this Let's Play, so like every time, like I found, like I find his, I want to watch his actual Earthbound Let's Play, and this is why I could do it using a guide, and it's like, ten, it's like back when the time limit was, I think, 10 minutes, or, when I started YouTube, the time limit was 11 minutes, but probably back in 2008 when he did his Let's Play on Earthbound, it was like 10 minutes, not 11 minutes, so, I was lucky that I was given that extra minute, because my first video ever, Pokemon Ruby Part 1, was, um, 10 minutes and 58 seconds long. So yeah, so I'd like to give a huge thank you to him. Um, if you notice uh, like his parts, if you go to his playlist, compared to my hearts, are, parts are like the exact same because I want to make like every I, he does everything fast because he had a time limit back then, but I can like not rush as much because I have a 
I can upload as long as I want, I think, up to a certain amount. But I only upload, I try to do like 20 to 30 minute parts at the most, or videos. Because I don't want them to get too long, like half an hour, over half an hour is a little bit too long for me. But maybe every now and then I have one of those parts, just because it takes me so long. It takes me long to play video games sometimes, especially if it's a game I don't really know that well. Like Earthbound. That's why I'm using his guide, and that's why, like, a lot of his parts are similar to mine. Well, not really similar, but, like, the, everything we do, like, his part 19 is doing this, and my part 19 is going through this area of the Chaos Theater. So I wanted to point that out. Again, I'll put text over in the first part, which you've probably already seen because this video is uploaded after the first part, obviously. So I just want to give a shout-out to Shugger Cow Wayne. I want to thank him for, um, helping with this game, really. So, that's good. And that's all I wanted to say, really, so thanks, Trigger Conway. Okay. Okay, it looks like he's drinking beer, though. Man, okay. Talk to you. I can... Come, I came here because it's tough to get in, but I'm kind of disappointed. There's no good-looking waitresses, and there is no room for me to show off my latest dance moves. Aw, oh, that's like a you problem, I'm sorry. He's drinking beer, too, because I think that's a mug. Hey, kids, how did you get tickets? What are you? The owner's, the owner's kids or something? Okay. Let's just move on to this person. There's a hippie in here too, by the way. My boyfriend lost the ticket that I gave him. He's waiting outside the entrance. He's He's got butterfingers, just but he's nice. He has butterfingers for, um, fingers? That's cool. I wish my fingers were made out of chocolate. Oh wait, um, let's talk to this person. You kids are bouncing around, talking to everyone, it's getting in the way. Sorry, I'm just walking through this place. Let's talk to this person because she is actually really important. Lucky to, lucky, uh, Lucky of the Runaway 5 told me um, I could go backstage, but I don't have a pass. I'm sure security will stop me. Hey, really? Um, you have a pass? I can't believe it. Can you take take me with you, please? Please, please? I can pose as your sister. Yes, that rocks. Let's go. I do have a sister named Tracy, and she does have blonde hair, but she's a little bit younger than you, I think. But okay. Oh, my heart is pounding. <laughs> okay, so she goes first, apparently, even though we're kind of sneaking her in. Okay, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna do some bad singing when I get to some of these people's dialogues, but these are the members of the band. They're really cool. Let's talk to this guy first. I want some bread. I, I, I need the co coinage. I want more dough all the time. Okay. Let's talk to the saxophone player. This was the, I think he's playing the cello or the bass. I can't really tell. The sprite looks like a more of a cello. I may have a bass because it's like as tall as him, so it might be a bass. Okay, I wrote the lyrics to the most of the Runaway 5 songs. And by the way, Chucker Conway back in 2008, he wasn't, he, the Runaway guys didn't exist, or the channel didn't exist, the YouTube channel and the collaboration didn't exist in 2008. But um, in 2010, I think it was December 10th of 2010, they started their Runaway channel, Runaway Guy channel, which is a club channel of uh, collaboration between Chucker Conway, Emil, and um, Nintendo Capri Sun. Uh, Nintendo Capri Sun, uh, Tim. I don't know why I couldn't think of his name for a second. I think they're, sorry, Tim. Okay, and then, um, Proton John, John. So, yeah, but the Runaway Guy, the Runaway 5 kind of rhymes with the Runaway Guys. I wonder if someone left a comment in the comment section for part 19 of the Ice Bound Let's Play saying that. Like, foreshadowing two years or three years into the future, Runaway Guys was born or something like that. Something related to the Runaway Guys mentioning it in the comment, because it rhymes with Runaway Fives a little bit. Okay, money is what I want. Money that what is hot. That is what is hot. Money that's what I want. Money, it's where what we ain't got. Except freedom, freedom. Freedom is what we really sought. Okay, that rhymes. Cool. I like it. Sabadoo da da dee da. Sabadoo da dee ba ba ba. I guess these those debt blues. Hmm hmm hmm. If I if I had ten thousand dollars, I could pay off my debts and move out up to the next town. I wonder if I have a bus still runs and maybe rust it out. That's sad. I have ten thousand dollars. I'll help you in a little bit. Foreshadowing to what I'm gonna do. Okay. Hey yeah. The old the, the in the old days there was a lot of dancers and um act acts at the theater. Except now we're the only act playing here. We've even gone into depth here, so we're pretty near stuck. Hug, hug, hug. The folks in Tucson will, Tucson will enjoy, enjoy the Fortnite 5 shows for quite a few years. It looks like that. It looks like ta me. It looks like ta me. Okay, okay. And now let's talk to this guy. Hey, you got to see our show. You lucky kid. I hope you pay attention. Okay, we will. We will. Wait. Okay, the the girl we brought in is just stuck in just in the corner, I guess. So if we go back outside, 
Um, I think it'll activate the next cutscene. Yeah. So the sprites are um are you know not there anymore because um if they did that then the the effects and all, with all this animation coming up it would have caused the game to like glitch out and stuff and that's not good. I learned that from Chikikami watching his part. Okay, of this let's of this let's play part nineteen. Okay, yeah, that's right. Tonight you got the Chaos Theater Solman coming at you, rocking and rolling live on this here stage for a limited time only. The world's greatest blues men. There are only five, and here they come. Oh yeah, boy, baby. Okay, I said boy first. Nice. I still think they were fencing here to Mario and Luigi. But, yeah. Nice. They look like they're having fun there. And they call themselves the Runaway Five, but there's six band members, huh? Interesting. That was a pretty good da uh, music experience. View viewing experience, I should say. So, I think that if we talk to this person, you kids were right. okay, you said the same thing. I wonder if we go back inside. I think that's what we have to do. Come quick, don't be shy. Okay. I'm so excited, I might just wet myself. My heart is going pitter patter. That's what she said before with the show started, honestly. I forgot the doctor, actually. But she's pretty excited. She's excited after the show. I think we just have to leave. So, yeah. Talk to this. That's just, yeah. Oh, pardon me. <laughs> Let's just get out here. But first, we have to actually go back to the boss manager guy. Let's talk to him again. I want to go. If, okay, 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 fine. Okay, say the same thing. Okay. Well, if I show him the wad of bills... Like if I can, if I can get there, that'd be great. Thank you. Okay, water bills. Use. Excuse me, what's that you got there? Let me take a real close look. Okay, just don't steal from me. <laughs> okay, um, goods. Let's go back to pause inventory. Water bills. Use. Yips. 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 You scared me. You surprised me. Sorry. Now I'm sure what to do. <coughs> I got the money, of course, and now the only five guys are free to leave. I'll, I've got no complaints now that that uh, I have my money. Now that I have my money. And they'll come in, but there's only five of them coming in, actually. Well, what do you know? This little nipper t took us for a nightmare to a dream. Cool. I, I think, um, I was probably wrong about my last, um, you know, held the, um, heaven ref, um, you know, sense censorship, but I think they meant like from the, yeah, they like it's going a nightmare to heaven means like hell to heaven or something like that. How oh, that means we can get out of the stump. I'm glad I, I'm a good driver. Come on, I'll show you. Okay, all right, let's move on to the next town. I'm sure our hunk of junk will help us get there. Okay, um, I don't make a sp spectacular. I, sp I don't make a spectacle of myself. Did I? I didn't make a spectacle of myself, did I? I like a saxophone. I, in sixth grade, I did actually play a saxophone in my band. Um, and I played it for one year because I, I didn't really like it, you know. I thought I was really bad, so I could never really... I practiced in a while, but like, I still thought I was really bad, so I just dumped it. But I remember playing the saxophone. It was really cool. I played the altar saxophone, by the way. Let's talk to this guy. Um, let's go to the Thread. Thread. Okay. Our tour bus is too loud for any ghost to bother us. Hmm, interesting. Like that ghost in the cave that we mentioned, that we saw, like maybe I'd guess like four or five parts back or something. Yeah, okay, bother us. Do you want to ride? Sure, yes, we love a ride. Oh yeah, let's go, go on the bus. Nice. 
okay, we have to go on the bus, and they're like, we just like, got phased into it, because we don't even open the door, because there's no door opening in a mission. Okay, okay guys, here we go. Oh yeah. Hey sidewalk, get out of my way. <laughs> I like that. Okay, that that dog can actually get ran over with Sprite actually times it right and walks in front of the bus. But yeah, this is the first time driving in a vehicle that doesn't that just, just automatically stops doesn't automatically stop when it comes to touch us when we're on the road. I like the music here too, it's really nice. So, I like the design of the bus. It says runaway on the side like you see right there. It's a black bus. It's really cool. I, I think that's all the band equipment on top of it. Those little, like, looking rectangular prisms on top of the black bus. <laughs> that ghost is, that, that ghost, <laughs> that ghost is trying to chase us, but nope. Ha ha ha. Suckers, you can't catch us now. Gotta go fast. Well, we're already going fast anyway, so we don't have to got it. We don't have to go fast. We're already fast. Oh, wait. It seems like an... You said this would be like a nice town, but like it looks kind of dark and stuff. I don't know. Okay, we made it to three. Okay, it looks like we have to. Looks like we have to say goodbye for now. This town seems pretty gloomy. Yeah, I, I noticed. But I'm sure you can you can light up the place with your own little brand of sunshine. Thanks, man. He has a head sticking out of the window. <laughs> Hope you see you again sometime. Look for us when we sing. When we be. Look at us! Look for us to be singing at some theater in Forestside, foreshadowing to the next city, basically with a number, or next place with a number, town, city, you know. Okay, so I want to end the part right here, though. So yeah, this has been Janko again. I was this has been the my Earthbound Let's Play part. So the next part will take on more of um three, I guess. So this has been Janko again. I would like to say goodbye and hope to see you guys in the next part of my Earthbound Let's Play.